everybody, Elisa here with another Vera Bradley bag of the day. Uh, today I thought I would talk about um, the utility tote um, because when I first got this tote um, a little while ago now, people were asking me, was I going to do a video or they're asking me how I think it compares to the Vera and stuff and I never really got a chance to, um, never had could find a moment to do a video about it so I thought I would just take this opportunity before I have to go back to work <laughs> um, so this is the utility tote in uh, rainforest canopy uh, it is recycled fabric it is non quilted and it is definitely very puffy it, it it's padded or something so it has a kind of a puffy fluffy feel to it um, but it's not noisy, you know, um, does, it doesn't crinkle or anything, which is good. It's a, it has a softness to it. <laughs> it's soft puffy. Um, this bag style does also come in... Oh! <laughs> didn't see that coming. Um, it does also come in some solids. People probably know now they're um, doing these in the recycled cotton, these um, unquilted styles, they're more utility utility styles, and uh, they're in solid colors. I'm not so interested in the solid colors. Uh, for me, The it's not really worth it. The, like, the pattern is the thing with, with me. And I do think that with this style in particular, it is a big bag, uh, and I'm going to hold it up with some other bags to compare. Eat when it's. I was looking at it in the store once, and um, they didn't have it in the pattern yet, and they only had it in like this whatever their olive green color is, whatever they're calling that. And the thing just looked ginormous with no pattern on it. Oddly, I, I would. You might think that a pattern might make something look bigger and louder, but I feel like the pattern really helps here make this bag look like it camouflages the bigness of the bag because without the pattern, you just get these big pieces of fabric <laughs> and I was just very, really aware of how big it felt so um, I do like the bag and I can get all of my stuff in it it's just a different process for me because it doesn't have many interior pockets and I was kind of surprised because normally I always used to say that's not a deal breaker for me I'm not someone who and it's not I'm not someone who needs a lot of interior organization but you know I got so used to the Vera tote with its six slip pockets inside that it's like Vera I didn't know I needed them you know I didn't have a need for it Vera created a need for me you know all of a sudden now I need pockets <laughs> because Vera introduced me to pockets so um, that's a neat little trick <laughs> advertising and marketing at work um, so it, it is comparable. I do have it packed up. Uh, all on myself. So it's kind of heavy to hold. But I will try to hold it up now with, with uh, styles uh, for comparison that people might be interested in. So first I have the Vera Tote. This is the newer version of the recycle with the recycled cotton. So it has the, those little bit of finishing detail changes. And I talked about that in a, in a previous video. Um, let's see how best to hold this up. <laughs> this thing is so heavy. Okay. So, um, there we go. You know, comparable, comparable to the Vera tote. Maybe this just looks a slightly more east-west. Maybe that's because of the, um, the exterior east-west pockets. Um, but, but comparable. A little wider. I think. I mean, this is empty, but still, I do think this can fill out a little bit wider. Um, and, and again, it's like padded. It's got this more, it's more padded than just this regular quilted stuff. And then sort of um, maybe, you know, a good comparison too for people who might be interested. This is the commuter tote. Uh, <laughs> again, empty it's empty so uh, another comparable um, size but this does look bigger and just one more that people might be interested in this is the work tote the commuter tote and the work tote both have a laptop compartment inside which is nice built in this doesn't have that like I said minimal 
options inside, minimal pockets and, and sections inside. So this is a performance twill uh, work tote. Love this bag. This is seawater blooms. So that's quite a bit smaller. Here, I, oh, I, I used to think of this as a big bag. Now it looks just, you know, downright cute. <laughs> Um, okay, so one other thing I did want to mention before I forget, because I'll forget. <laughs> I'm lucky I remember to say half the things I say in any video, um, and some people probably think I ramble. <laughs> um, <clears throat> you can see, and I noticed this right away with this fabric, this, this non-quilted cotton, it takes the dye differently. It has a more saturated look. Um, this is a little bit paler. The colors are, are definitely richer here and a little bit brighter. Like I say, more saturated. And that appealed to me right away. That, that caught my eye right away when I was looking at this fabric. And this fabric has a different hand feel than just this regular quilted cotton, which feels a little rougher. This has a softer brushed kind of smooth, almost sateen kind of feel to it. I don't know if it technically is sateen, but it it does have that kind of a feel to it. So it's nice. It has a very nice hand feel, very soft. Um, the top opening, I, I won't, I'll just do basic measurements um, because this is a, a newer bag style, but I don't want to get too bogged down with that kind of stuff. This is such a drag. Um, Strap drop is about 11 inches. Now I'm just measuring from here to the top of the bag, not where the strap actually meets because it comes down a little lower. And the reason I'm doing that is because this is what affects your arm when you're putting the bag on. So these are cushy, very plush, like cushy, squishy straps. They feel nice. Uh, the top of the bag, the opening roughly, a 16 and top to bottom, maybe about 13 and a half, 14. And side, you know, uh, the, the thickness of the bag, maybe about eight, you know, about eight this way. And I do think that is bigger than the Vera tote, um, which might be six or seven, I'm not sure. Um, there are measurements on the website, I'm sure. They're not always accurate, but Sometimes they're mistakes. So uh, before I forget, also on the strap, talk about uh, there is this sort of strip of fabric that's sewn on like a loop and it's tacked down, doesn't slide around, and it's sewn on on, a, on 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 a diagonal. But it does on both sides have a hole. It's not the, the tops and the bottom aren't sewn down, so you could definitely slip something through there. I, I imagine that's the point. Uh, like you could probably slip a breakaway lanyard or something through there or a carabiner or something with your keys or some other kind of, you know, like those O-rings that have the spring mechanism. And so that's kind of handy. There's also a, a loop here. These, all of these, and we'll talk about this more, but like the strap, the zipper poles, they're all made out of this sort of seat belt like material. It's soft, but it is slippery and slick. So there's this loop here, um, and then there's a loop here and a loop here for the detachable strap. I was surprised. I was looking for hardware to, to I'll show the strap in a minute, but I was looking for hardware to clip the strap onto, and this was all I could find. So these, these fabric loops. And there's this adjustable, <laughs> this adjustable strap thing on one of the east-west pockets on a diagonal. You can see it's sewn on on a diagonal. It is adjustable, has a little bit of a cotton on the end, which kind of flips around like a like a belt, um, along the long end of a belt. But um, I guess you could tack it in like that, tuck it in like that, or stick it down like that maybe. <laughs> um, but then you lose that little bit of the cotton. But anyway, it does also unclasp like that. Um, and I did ad adjust this out. So because when I first got the bag, it was cinched real tight here and it was, it was causing my pocket to crease. <laughs> and a little OCD woman who lives inside of me came screaming out, 
Oh my God, the wrinkles. <laughs> anyway, plus I also want, oh, I'm sorry, pumpkin. Hi. I wanted to be able to um, put my hand sanitizer bottle in here. It works really well for that since there aren't a lot of pockets inside. <laughs> the pockets are on the outside. The pockets are the exoskeleton. <laughs> um, okay, so uh, I guess I could put it. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I just bump you again? <laughs> oh, did she take your toy? Okay, you can have this one. No, she's a hog. So let me just, maybe I'll just put it on. I'll have to move my um, laptop to show it. But let me see, since it's filled up now, get an idea of what it looks like. Hopefully, ah, without me knocking my camera over completely. So it is, um, <laughs> it is big. Oh, let's see if I can get, get myself in the shot completely. Hopefully. So you can see it's big. Yeah. Just like the Vera tote, it's not, it's not any smaller. You're not, you know, downsizing with this bag, but it is comfortable. I really like these pockets. I love East West pockets because you can slip, not only can you slip like a water bottle or, you know, my hand sanitizer, lotion, whatever, but I like these for car keys because they're so nice and deep that I feel like, you know, there's security even though it's just a slip pocket. And, and yet easy access for me. So I like that for that. Okay, so now uh, I guess what I'll do is I'll pull everything out, but let me just do the outside pockets. So um, on the back, there's a nice big piece of fabric here, which is great, and a magnetic a slip pocket that has a magnetic snap closure. What I like about this, what they've done with the magnetic snap closure here, and I've noticed this on a few other bags recently, is that they are tacking the magnet in place. They are sewing around the magnet, which is nice. Let's see if you can see it there. You can see the stitching around the magnet there. And it's here too. Oh, it's there too. It keeps the magnet in place, um, and, and that's necessary. I mean, that's a good um, thing to do because I've noticed on some vintage bags, like the saddle up bag, um, when there's a, a covered magnet, sometimes that magnet dislodges from whatever is holding it in place. And then it's, you know, just floating around on the inside of the bag uh, wall, and it's, you know, becomes useless. So this is a great, I love that finishing detail. And that's a big pocket, and it's padded. Both side, both walls of the pocket are padded. It's nice. And on the front, uh, I feel like I'm getting a workout holding this thing. <laughs> There's this big zipper pocket. Uh, I think this is uh, my cell phone's not in here. It does fit in here, and this is probably where I would keep my cell phone. I, I'm thinking they want you to keep your. They're thinking you might keep your cell phone here. That'll never happen with me because it's too accessible. I mean, you can see it right there practically. And I, this is an iPhone 11. I'm sure people have even bigger phones that would stick out even more. What if I, I bend over, the bag gets, you know, knocked over. This is going to slip right out. So, no, this is going in there. <laughs> and there's another slip pocket there. This, this side of the uh, pocket doesn't have anything. And this is a good, you know, it's got some thickness to it, some depth to it, this pocket is structured in a way that it's not flat. So you could probably fill that pocket up nicely with stuff. And then on top of that, the slip pocket and this uh, pocket with a flap and a little tab again in that um, like seatbelt material and a magnetic snap closure. This is where I just stuck the strap. So this, a removable strap, again the zipper pull, also the same kind of fabric, a little bit thinner on this zipper pull, a little bit softer, uh, more flexible, I mean, more bendy. Uh, so this strap is not adjustable, which was surprising to me. 
And I'm not sure whether this is, I think these might be metal covered in a kind of a matte finish. I'm not sure whether they're metal or plastic, but they, you know, they're the typical rotating like lobster claw clasp or spring clasp there. Uh, and these little bit of cotton fabric, the pattern on the ends. Um, so yeah, you know, surprised that it wasn't adjustable. So I would, I mean, I would only use this crossbody and only in a pinch because it does hang kind of long on my body. I guess I could move the camera again to show that. But just roughly, not including the hardware, which does add length though. It's about 39 inches, so maybe about 40, 41. Let's see. With the hardware, about 43 inches. Um, not, again, not adjustable. <laughs> I just slap it on here um, so people can see what it looks like, how, how long it is. And I'm 5'4 and about uh, just over 130 pounds. I just weighed myself this morning. I lost some weight, hey. It's because uh, uh, I have been trying to eat a little bit better, but also um, going through a little bit of stress, and that helps me drop weight. <laughs> um, okay. So I don't know if this is going to, it's going to hang so low that it might not make it in the shot. But if I, if I put it on, you can see, you know, so you can see it's just hanging low, just as a shoulder bag. And there it is, crossbody with these straps. I guess you could tuck the straps in, the, if you have the bag open, you could tuck the straps in the top of the bag, get them out of the way. But they don't bother me that much hanging down. I'm like again, again, I'm not. This is not a crossbody bag. This, the only reason I would wear it like this is like if I were running through an airport or, you know, lugging bags in my car and I needed hands all for, you know, for a short period of time. I needed more free hands, so it's not uncomfortable. But I do feel like after a while this might become a problem, just because the bag is so large that I have so much in here that it's fairly heavy. But you know, it's always good to have that option. Okay, so um, so those are the main pocket features, and then inside there's just one sort of average size slip pocket. The, the closure yeah. is a zipper and soft, these soft uh, plastic zippers that match sort of are color coordinated. It's a recess, slight recess and space on either side. This is one of those, I don't know what they call this kind of a closure, where there's sort of space, you know, the zipper. It's not like the Vera Tote. There's, this, there's space on the edges here. But nobody's getting their hand in there. And it's not that big of a space. Yeah, unless you have like a toddler pickpocket. <laughs> um, okay, so Inside is all like the usual suspects from my other videos. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good movie, Casablanca. And then even the usual suspects where they took that from, that line from. Um, just, I, I won't spend too much time on this stuff. You know, my easy pass, pens, store cards, loyalty cards, turn lock, uh, packable tote. From the factory, uh, writing a notepad in a paperback book holder, uh, GPS in a mini cosmetic, eyeglass case, mini dome for some tissues on the lip, chapstick kind of stuff, my zip IDs for photos, bracelet for gloves and masks, and a medium, lighten up medium cosmetic for charger cords, and uh, just a couple of flat pouches for the COVID, I, COVID vaccination card, Xerox, and band aids. Raindrop. <laughs> okay, uh, so inside, loose, you know, loose kind of sort of blousey lining. There's the zipper pocket there, kind of small-ish, uh, doesn't go down all the way to the bottom of the bag, and the base is flexible but not removable. I do think this is machine washable, I'm not sure, 
Uh, they have been touting their recycled cotton as machine washable in a bunch of their recent emails. I don't know what this base is in here, but it doesn't come out. I have not washed this. So that's your that's it. That's your basic your basics about this bag. Oh, and I have my whoop and my hand sanitizer. You know, there. I like this for the hand sanitizer. It's the perfect height. Um, dropping stuff, <laughs> dropping stuff as I go. Okay, so the only other thing I did want to mention again was the pattern because it this this fabric has just really just seems to take the dye so great I mean unless they adjusted adjusted it intentionally to have it look more vivid on this fabrication but uh, I, I my suspicion is that it's just a byproduct of this particular fabric that it absorbs the dye differently or something but I did I mean it's a beautiful pattern I love I love the, the palm trees, the palm, fan palm, the palm fronds, the fan palms especially, and I love all these little floral details, especially that one. This is a beautiful rosy kind of red in there. Um, but you know, a, a crazy critter lady here. Hi. <laughs> and so it's all about the birds. Uh, I wanted good birds, especially on, on at least one pocket, and I, I do like the bluebirds. I was very pleased to get that there. There is an orange bird on this flap here, but because of the way the flap kind of curves up, you lose the head a little bit, but he, it's there. And then when you lift the flap up, there's a, a, a secret bluebird. <laughs> and there's a bird, red bird there, a decapitated bird there. Uh, um, bird here. And here, so I, I really feel like here too. And then the back has uh, all three of them. So this back was just, uh, I just saw this and I just said, okay, this is the one. Orange, red, blue. And the fan, both the fan palms there and the Monstera leaves and not too much of this. I mean, it's there, but not too much of it. I feel like this is a one part of the pattern I'm not crazy about these sort of darker, like more solid looking leaves sort of make the pattern a little bit uh, more dense in those areas. And sometimes that can throw the balance off, but uh, please, very please, just a little bit. So, I mean, it's, it's you know, I, I don't know that I would buy that, you know, keep buying this style. Um, but I do like it um, if the pattern is right. I mean, I think they may have released it in a more recent pattern that I'm not crazy about. They have, they've come up with a couple of patterns that look a little bit more like, they almost look like Spanish tile work or medallions or things like that. And I'm not really interested in those. Um, but I do think that one of those patterns is in a utility tote. I'm not sure about that. Don't quote me on that. But not interested in you know it's got to be I just wanted this pattern it's really in love with this pattern anyway I hope people found that helpful and to see it held up next to a few comparable bags and um, hopefully you see you next time on Vera Bradley bag of the day.